my god! Oh, I am drained. What an absolutely phenomenal the game is absolutely video game! Absolutely fucking fantastic. No matter how you look From at it, from start to end, that that's one of the best video games I've ever a played. Lot of lore should you choose to want to learn. So all many of, of the elements all coalesced so perfectly if you to make it such a, a rewarding experience. Because well, there's, there's a lot of really games really who tried this type of thing where they try. This was extremely cinematic. This could have been a movie on its own. I mean, it kind of is. It's basically a Norse mythology. Movie kind of video game. Secrets, if you change Kratos for Thor, entire the ending, like that, one so much of that is interchangeable. Even his axe even looks like Stormbreaker. Or um, Thor's axe. Or what's his name? Billy Ray something has an axe called Stormbreaker. There's like a an axe hammer or something. God of War, running on PS4 and PS4 Pro. Jesus, man, where do I even start? Fucking fun fight. For all things, God of War. First of all, as somebody. God of War kinda blows. When this game came out in 2018, everyone was skeptical of this new take on the God of War franchise. But it seemed no matter where you went, everyone walked out satisfied. I'm here to tell you that this game is not nearly as good as you remember. To begin, I want to state that the story, the visuals, and the world building is the best part of the game. The entire world feels lived in and well explained, but not so much that it's shoved in your face at every turn. Most of the time. However, there comes a real problem when the gameplay isn't the best part, but the visuals and story are. What's the point of it being a game? The story this game is telling just doesn't work in this medium. The backtracking, the fetch quests, and the sluggish areas would all be solved if this was just simply a movie, but the thing is, it's not a movie. You have to sluggishly traverse the map, you have to play through every second of the game, as opposed to a movie that can just jump ahead and cut out a lot of the fat. I understand that the game is trying to immerse you, but a lot of the time, I'm just taken out of the game because I feel like I'm getting so little done. About how I had to backtrack every time a problem occurred and I can, you know, understand that there has to be conflict. But when you do two or more fetch quests to get up a mountain, only be told that this isn't the correct mountain and you need to go back down to get a rune to open a portal to the correct mountain, then you climb back up said mountain, open the portal, and then that portal gets destroyed, that is hours of time that you don't even get to progress at all. You are always being thrown back and have to get back up to where you were before. And I think that this is the kind of game that would have benefited from a shorter length and an easier way to traverse the map, because my god, this map is huge. I don't even want to hear that there is fast travel in this game, because that's just as sluggish as walking. You have to open a portal, select a specific portal, then wait 5 minutes for Mimir to talk about whatever he wants to talk about, then you can go where you want. And most of the time the fast travel isn't even available to you. The game peaks in the first 10 minutes with your first fight with Baldur, and only peaks anytime there's an interesting boss fight. And good luck finding those, because most of the fights are just the same boss, with different colors, over and over again. You fight Baldur like 4-5 to five times and fight Thor's sons once. Then you have to fight Valkyries, which are only optional and bonus quests, and serve nothing to the main ongoing narrative. So that is about 4 unique bosses excluding all this reskin fights and rematches with Baldur. Not to mention the combat, you know, feels sluggish and weak. Mind you, I upgraded all my weapons and armor to the maximum amount of damage, and yet I was finding myself struggling on balanced difficulty. I get that this game is meant to be challenging, but the title is God of War. You should be able to be a lot stronger than you are. So between long distances of travel, weak combat, sluggish pacing, and the game feeling like you're getting nowhere, I believe that God of War deserves a 4 out of 10. This game is nowhere near as good as everyone says it is, and I'm tired of it getting the amount of praise it does. So, that's all I have to say. I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Um, it should not be like a month next time. Love you. Bye-bye.